Shot Show 2016. I'm at the Kershaw booth. Back here with Jim. Hey. How's it going? Doing good. How are you? I'm real good. And I'm excited to look at all these Kershaws you got. There's like uh, 50,000 of them. So we're going to start it, I think, number 45,000 and work our way up. Let's that do that. Perfect. Since we can't all cover right. all of them. Okay. So I want to start off first with something that's not actually a knife. This is our new ration. It's a uh, obviously a fork and spoon tool. Simple thing, you know, they've been around for years and years, but we wanted to give it a little, little bit of our own twist. So this has a carabiner for clipping it onto your gear. Has a dedicated fork. We personally thought, yeah, you know, let's do something that's not a spork. Let's do a real fork so you can really get your food. Um, nice curvature so it works nicely for you. Um, spoon when you flip it over. And also got a bottle opener because if, you, if you're out there in the wilderness and you've got a beer and you can't get it open, that's a pretty sad thing. So, so that's the new ration tool. What's the uh, price on that? Uh, MSRP on this is $7.49. So real bargain on these. Really, Should be really easy, cheap. Easy, easy, uh, easy one to pick up. Cool. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Next up is another really nice bargain piece. This is called the Cinder. This is a. Uh, Real small knife. You can see it's actually just a, just about an inch long blade. It's really meant to be kind of a keychain knife. It's got a good detent, so you can dangle this on your keys. Um, real simple. It's got a liner lock mechanism. Uh, Faux G10 molded nylon handles on both sides. Nice keychain loop, and you get a bottle opener because everyone likes a bottle opener. Probably 8 CR13 MOV steel. Um, this one is 3CR13. 3CR13, okay. It's another one of those that you'll yep. see from uh, some of the overseas producers. That's cool yeah. though. It's like 10 bucks, is that right? Yep, 10.99. Oh, so another, this is a really low price point for us. I love, I don't know what it is about tiny little knives, but I love them. Yeah. Cool. It really is a nice functional knife too. This is ground really nice and thin, so even though that's a narrow little grind, this should cut really nicely. Very nice. What else we got? Okay. I guess we'll go through our little stuff next. Um, this is called the Spoke. This has actually got an 8CR13 MOV blade. It's two inches long. We've got cold forged steel handles on it um, with, a nice, with a nice pattern. Um, same on the back handle. Little miniature deep carry clip that's reversible to either, either side. Mm -hmm. This is speed safe assisted opening um, with a nice black finish overall. MSRP of $27.99 on this one. Can I hold that one? Yeah, Thank please. You. That feels pretty good. For the size, it's not going to be too bad. Yeah, no. like you said, it's steel handles, but yeah. again, it's small. It's going to be easy to carry. Yeah. Very cool. Okay. Next up, we have the cathode. So this is about a two and a quarter inch blade. It is uh, it is 8CR13 MOV with a nice stout Tonto grind. Mm. You've got a steel handle, and this handle is also cold forged with that nice heavy pattern on it. It's got a real grippy texture. It's good to hold on to. Back handle is the same. Nice cold forged steel. Um, again with that pattern. Reversible pocket clip. Um, speed safe assisted opening. Backspacer. And this one has an MSRP of, uh, of $29.99. Can I get that in hand again? Yeah. Thank you. Yep, that's pretty nice. You get a nice three finger grip on it, even though it's a really a very small knife. Real slim as well, good one for carrying. And you're right about the grip on that, it's pretty nice. It's not super deep, but it's nice and it's it's really attractive too. Oh, cool, I like it. Okay, so now into a few things that are a little larger. We've got a couple of knives this year that are really good utility knives. Um, one of them is this here, this is called the Barge. It is a, uh, a nice, almost Warncliffe style blade. Kind of, a I guess you call this a sheep's foot. Great for opening boxes, um, cutting cardboard, those kind of utility tasks you might do with it. The big feature of this knife is that it has an integrated pry bar. We, this, as a knife company, it's something you run into fairly frequently. People will actually use the tip of their knife as a pry bar. They break it off, causes problems. So in this knife, we've actually integrated one into the handle. Very beefy feel. You can see how thick that backspacer is. Um, over a quarter inch thick at the back here. And it's got a nice flat tip in it that you can also use as a flathead screwdriver. Um, beefy stainless frame lock handle. Manual action, opens real smooth. Real usable blade profile. And an MSRP of $34.99 on this. So again, really good price points on these. Did you say that was G10? 
This actually is a molded G10 textured scale, so it's okay. it's glass filled nylon with a good G10 texture. Okay, hold it for a second. A little bit of grip. Yep, and it's beefy. It's um, it's heavy in hand. It's I want to say five to six ounces, something like that. But uh, again, the point of it being that you can do some hard work with that little prying end on it, rather than chipping up and dinging up and destroying your blade. So, right. Yeah, it's worth it. Makes makes sense. Okay. This next one is called the grinder. Again, a nice utility profile. You can see that tip really comes down. Again, similar similar for a lot of those good uses, cutting cardboard, opening boxes. Um, molded molded nylon scales again with a nice with a nice rough texture. I don't know if you can feel that or not. Let's have a look. That's cool. Yeah, yeah, I like that. And also some grooves in as well to give you a little extra heavy grip down there where your fingers wrap around. Mm -hmm. Reversible pocket clip. This one's actually a tip down pocket clip. And the other thing about this that's maybe a little easier to see if I roll this over here is that nice heavy jimping on the back of the blade. Really great texture there. So if you've got your thumb in there and you're working, or your finger and you're trying to do more detailed work, there's, you're not going to slip, even with gloves. Mm -hmm. I'd almost say that you could do, use that uh, to do some notching and some wood or something like that yeah. if you wanted to because it's so long and uh, pretty nice and aggressive. And it's not squared off, it's kind of. Um, let's see if I can show it. It's got a sort of a, um, what do you call that? A, 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 not a terracing, but... Um, it's got a little bit of chamfer on either yeah, side. Exactly, yeah, exactly, exactly. Which makes it almost like a sawtooth, you know, intended to be kind of turned this way and scraping away at something or, you know, creating a, a divot of some kind. So I can see a lot of utility from that. Yeah. MSRP of $29.99 on this knife. Nice. Okay. Next up we have the uh, the Rove. So this is another one with a nylon handle. A little bit of grip texture on here. This one's a little more of a, I'd say more of a regular carry kind of knife. A little smoother handles, a little more sleek profile. But again, a real comfortable price point of, of $29.99. Got more of a drop point blade on it. Um, cool backspacer on it with some venting. Nice. Um, again, nylon handles on the back, liner lock construction deep carry pocket clip, an 8CR13 MOV blade on this one. So, good steel, good price. Looks pretty nice, cool. Not done yet. Not done yet, nope. We're about 43,000 now, so go ahead. <laughs> this is a, another new one we've got, it's called the Portal. Uh, it's got a great textured handle on it. Really cool. Um, we've got this sweeping flow pattern that goes all the way through the blade. It's cold forged into the blade, so this is actually a 3CR13 blade. Uh, liner lock mechanism, speed safe assisted opening. These will be a molded nylon scale as well, but a really heavy texture on it, nice grip. Um, reversible pocket clip, and just again, $29.99, great value. So a lot of value priced knives this year. Yeah, definitely, I can see that. I love, thank you, I love the look of that. <laughs> it's so cool. Really Sweeping sleek. from the end all the way up to the front. You see that's all cold forged in, right? Yep. yep. Nice looking blade shape too. Nice big sweep to it. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Tons of guys here at the first shop booth. Yeah. yeah so don't disappoint. <laughs> so one more here. This is actually a design by one of our custom knife makers named Todd Rexford. So this is called the Entropy. It's got another molded nylon scale, another another great texture pattern. Lots of good choices here today. Um, reversible deep carry pocket clip. Um, speed safe assisted opening. Okay. HCR 13 MOV blade and a real aggressive looking blade point. I mean, even for a drop point, this is really pretty aggressive. And then one more cool feature we've been doing on a lot of our knives this year, we've got these bright orange tube spacers that give you a little hint of color. Something to make the knife pop without being overly gaudy. So, do that more. Do that try, more, and try, more and more. I like it. Trying to keep it classy in Portland these days. <laughs> Very so, nice. Can I get my hands on that one? Yeah, good. Thanks. Entropy, it's called. Yes, and that's, the MSRP on that one is thirty-nine ninety-nine. So a few bucks more. That's pretty sexy. I like it. Okay. So, let's see, for something a little different here. Let's pull out the Pico. Yeah. This is where this is a collaboration with a knife maker named Les George. We've been working with for a couple of years. Les is a great guy. He's got a lot of experience. Um, this is a uh, design called the Pico. 
Uh, Two-tone blade on this one, or you can see it in the light there. So we have a stone wash on the grinds and a nice, nice machine satin finish on the flats. That's beautiful. Bead blasted steel handles, decorative pivot, um, steel frame lock on the back with a reversible deep carry clip, HCR 13 MOV steel. Um, again, assisted opening. Real nice snap on this knife. And an MSRP of $44.99 on this one. And did you say it's all stainless steel on the handles? It is all stainless steel on the handles. Okay. So slim, a little heavier, but really comfortable knife to carry around. Tell me the name of this one again. It's called the Pico. The Pico. Like Pico de Gallo. Yep. I see this being introduced in lots of different handle colors and different handle materials in the future because this is a winner right there. I love it. Yeah, that's a beauty. Cool. Okay. Another new Les George design that we're doing for this year. This one's called the Spline. Um, again, similar construction to the Pico. Steel handles, HCR 13 MOV blade. Um, this one has a nice black wash finish over everything. Decorative pivot, cool, cool grooved backspacer. And then on the back side, we have again a steel frame lock, reversible pocket clip with a deep carry. And this one has a uh, blade over travel stop that uh, Les designed for us. It's a, he calls it the beer, the, the beer tab <laughs> over travel stop. I can stop. see it, I can see it. Yeah. Cool. So again, a nice utility blade. It's a, not really a Warncliffe or a sheep's foot, but that tip does drop down. Again, makes it real easy to open boxes, cut cardboard, carve sticks, do all those things you do with a utility knife. Yeah, for sure. Lots of good utility from it. Yeah. Cool. And this one has an MSRP of $54.99, so a few bucks more. Nice. Okay. So let's see. Next up, let's look at the identity. This is a big, beefy knife for this year. Uh, HCR 13 MOV blade. Oh, excuse me. I think I'm wrong on that one. Can we pause for that one? Yeah, go ahead. Okay. Let's start with that one again. That is, uh, I was right, damn it. All right. You were right, okay. Go ahead. So this here is the identity. Another new knife for this year. Speed safe assisted opening. HCR 13 MOV blade. Black finish all over everything. This is gonna be a, a, a gray molded nylon insert with a cool, I've been calling this a vertigo pattern. It's a, it's a concentric circular pattern radiating out. Um, and on the back, we've actually got cold forged into the back handle, that same vertigo pattern. Um, really neat knife. Miniature deep carry pocket clip. Um, tube spacer construction, three and a half inch blade. This is just a big handful of a knife. Really cool new one. I'll get uh, hand. Yeah, please. An MSRP of $39.99 on this knife. And, yep, I feel that speed safe. Cool. All right, nice. What's up next? Okay. Down to, I think, where are we at? 47? <laughs> 82? I think. This one's called the fat back. And again, really cool EDC knife. Nice tapered spear point on this one. Kind of real, I had a friend used to call that a real stabby shape. <laughs> Good buddy of mine, another company. Um, decorative nylon. pivot, nylon nylon scales again with, with the faux G10 pattern. Mm -hmm. Nice grip to it. And a nice grip in the front as well. Exactly, yeah. Um, nylon on the back. This actually has a quad carry, deep carry pocket clip, like so that. four position. Like that. Uh, HCR 13 MOV, speed safe assisted, and an MSRP on this one of $39.99 again. Okay, cool. So let's see. I want to look at, let's try these ones. Okay. So why don't we start off with the, uh, the 4700. This is called the decoy. So this has what, what looks looks almost like a friction folder. It's got that tang on the blade. I can see that. Yeah. Let me help you. There, there we go. go. I got it. So you grab onto that with your finger and you pull it open. But this actually has a liner lock, so it locks in place. Really aggressive, really useful Warncliffe blade style. So <clears throat> again, a lot of utility oriented knives this year. But this one's actually flat on the bottom, so you could even chop with it, do different things. Um, Flat nice, good, bottom. grippy Wait, what, handle. What do you mean flat on the bottom? It's just a flat edge profile. Oh, gotcha. Yes. 
Yeah, so I yeah, not, not a flat edge. No, we like sharp knives. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, and this is also multifunction as well, right? That's right, yeah. So we have these nylon handles with a rubberized insert. It's the same color as the handle, but it's actually a, a molded inset rubber piece. Okay. Um, again, with that hint of color, we have, a, we have a green backspacer with what we're calling a party bubble texture. I like it. Um, we yeah, have I like a nice... the color. I like the color. Pocket clip looks cool. Yep, cool, different pocket clip on this one. Nice and wide. Mm -hmm. And then this has a feature in it that we have never done on any of our knives before. It's got an integrated set of pincers. So these actually slide out the back like a, kind of like a hemostat. Yeah. And they actually clamp together. So you can clamp, pinch this onto things, hold onto stuff. I actually, I would love to use this for just holding a couple of wires if I was soldering. It's very go. different things, so. There you go. So really cool, but really, I mean, you can hang this off of stuff. I mean, I would hang it off my badge, for example. That's what I've been showing people. So, this gives you a different way of carrying it around or clamping it onto whatnot. Nice. And as far as deployment goes, I want to get that in hand for a second and kind of show my experience yeah. with it. Just in playing with it here today, it's really easy to do. You kind of get your thumb up on top of that, rotate it back, yep. you're open. Unlock it. Same way you would with any liner lock. You feel that kind of push up on your finger. So you get your thumb out of the way. And there it is. Yeah. Easy and nice. I like it. Yep. Uh, it's called the payload. Yeah. Model 1925. So the way we typically approach multifunction tools is we, we, tend to, we tend to choose to make them a knife first. So this is a very big usable knife. Big solid blade. Nice and beefy. <clears throat> big thick thumb studs on it. Big oversized hardware. Um, but the real key feature of this knife is that it has a, a screwdriver that shoots out the back. It's a little automatic screwdriver action on it here for you. California legal? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's under two inches. Okay, good. Uh, it unlocks the same way you press the button, snap back in the handle. So a real fun mechanism to use. It stores extra bits in the handle. So they slide out, you get two, two flathead bits and three Phillips bits, you can okay. store one in the driver itself. Gotcha. Uh, nice, nice wide pocket clip. Wide but short. I yep. Like that. Yeah, something different. And it stays in that one position, is that right? It does stay in that one position, and then you just close it back up. Okay. The pocket clip, I mean. Oh, yes, I'm sorry. The pocket clip is a single position pocket yeah. clip on this okay. one. And MSRP of $49.99 on this one. Not bad. And you said, I think, ACR. Steel. HCR 13 bead blasted blade. Okay, cool. We've got just a few more before we move on to a couple, a couple more. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's go. I don't care what order we go in. Okay. Let's grab one. This is called the Valmara. Another Les George design. Um, you got nylon handles. You're gonna have a G10 texture on these ones. Um, reversible deep carry pocket clip. HCR 13 MOV blade. Nice sweeping recurve pattern so get another cool knife speed safe assisted opening mm -hmm. and on this one MSRP of $39.99 we'll just get a hand on it for uh, weight yeah. thank you uh, it'll, be a it'll be a little lighter than that yeah all right not bad I like it most of these knives you're handling here are production models but if a couple of them are prototypes this is one of them okay, so gotcha. it's a little heavier than it'll be I got gotcha. you okay one more Les George design. This one's called the Weston. So uh, kind of a nice bayonet style blade. Long, slim knife, really comfortable. Um, it'll, have a, it'll have a nylon scale with a G10 texture molded into it again. Um, stainless steel frame lock, reversible deep carry. Again, a lot of these features you're seeing in a lot of these knives this year. HCR 13 MOV blade that's been stonewashed. Speed safe assisted opening. And this one will have an MSRP of uh, $49.99. May I? Yeah, please. Thank you. Okay, nice. It's got some skyline cues to it. Do you see it? A little bit of that, it yeah. Feels, that, feels that, related. That nice straight spear point blade. Yep. Yeah, it's very attractive. Nice, nice size too. It's very nice and thin as well. Yeah. Good looking. You already gave us the MSRP, so the Yep, I, I didn't was, hear uh, it, but everybody else did. So yeah, it was $49.99 on that one. Got it. This is another, this is actually one of the bigger ones in line this year. 3.7 inch blade. 
This one's called the Grid, uh, the model 2200. So, 8CR13 MOV blade with a black oxide finish. The handles are actually stainless steel. They have a gray titanium coating on them. Um, steel frame lock. This knife is a little, maybe a little hard to see, but it's actually got a nice contouring because of this heavy chamfering that's going on on the handle. You can see it. Really comfortable, actually quite slim. It's got a reversible deep carry pocket clip. Nice sweeping blade profile. It's got a functional thumb stud and a flipper, so you can use, open it either way. And again, MSRP of $49.99 on this one. Wow, cool. Let me get that one in hand. Yeah. Thank you. I like the big oversized hardware on this one. It just gives it a really and it's concave. Cool feel. It's it is concave. Yeah. I didn't something, notice that at different. first. That is nice looking. On both sides, it's concave. That's yeah. cool. So all steel on the frame. You said. Yep. Chamfered like you mentioned. Yep. And very good looking. Yeah. Right on. Okay. A couple more. Yep. Before we get to several more. So we have another new Rick Hinderer design here. Whoa. Yes. This one's called the Ferrite. Again, really cool. It's kind of it's kind of a modified clip point style, but with some cool styling cues, a bit of aggressive look. Fit your thumb in there nicely, in that little kind of scoop out of the blade. Mm -hmm. um, 8 CR 13 MOV. The whole knife is well. Actually, the blade and the handles are coated with that that nice gray titanium finish again. Really attractive looking knife. Yep. We saw that on your first collaboration with him, the Cryo. I think. Yep, that's correct. Uh, it's been a popular finish. It's kind of the new, I'd, I'd call it the new black. <laughs> um, so, reversible pocket clip. And this has the filler tabs just like Rick's knives. So, our goal is to have this so you can swap out filler tabs like you would on an XM18 or on, a, on an Eclipse. Hmm. So, some of those things you can do with Rick's knives. It's kind of nice that it carries your logo on there as well. Yep, exactly. Cool styling cue. Speed safe assisted. Comfortable size, nice and slim. Thank you. Yep, I like it. I like it a lot. That's a great blade shape. It's so cool looking. And MSRP of uh, $59.99 on this one. It's amazing what you can do to a blade by just chopping a little section out of it. Yeah. Excellent. So, another Todd Rexford design here. This one's called the Showtime. Model 1955. Um, so we got one of those great two-tone finishes on the blade. You know, the black oxide finish with a nice satin on the flats, nice sanded satin. Um, black oxide handles, silver hardware, uh, tube spacer construction. And then a, a stainless steel frame lock on the back with one, another one of those cool mini deep carry pocket clips. I like it. 8CR13 MOV, speed safe assisted. Um, just a nice little size. Another thing, it's a little hard to see. This is that, that contouring on the handle, you really feel it in the hand. It's relatively slim, but it feels kind of rounded as well. Can I try it? Thank you. Yeah. Yep, I can see that. So MSRP of $47.99 on that one. A couple bucks cheaper. So I like how we're doing some like some designs that are quite premium looking, even though they're made with affordable materials. Yeah. So you don't have to pay a ridiculous amount of money to have something that's just gorgeous in your pocket. Yeah. Nicely done. Okay. So this is called the induction. And this is this is a project that we've been really excited to do. This is a uh, this is actually uh, an in-house design, but the locking mechanism is the uh, Grant and Gavin Hawk Hawk Lock. Something we've used in the past on models like the 1910 Ram and on one of our ZTs as well. So instead of a liner lock, we actually have the this sliding bolt that locks the blade open, and then creates the detent in the closed position. Um, really forward flipper. This is actually a manual action knife. It's not assisted, but because of the way this mechanism works, there's no side load on the blade. It makes it open really smooth and fast. So, really nice, really easy to get on that lock with your thumb. Snap it shut. Tell so, me the name one more time. The name? Yeah, the it's name It's called the in induction. Induction. Okay, so, good. yeah, please. Thank you. It's got aluminum scales on both sides. Oh, wow. Um, re reversible pocket clip. Again, that cool two-tone finish with the uh, satin and the black. And yeah. th this will be a uh, injection molded inlay there okay. that holds the mechanism in and uh, will have a uh, 
a nice faux G10 texture on it. Okay. So that's M yeah, that's really attractive. MSRP of $59.99 on this one. A little more, but you get a lot for this with this knife with that nice aluminum frame. Yeah. Really cool mechanism. It's got some kind of a, a resonance to it when it flicks open. A it sound really does. To it that's, it's um, it reminds me of a handful of other knives I I, I own that. Uh, when they when I open them up like that and they, I hear that click, it's yeah. just an unusual but yeah. really cool. Ah, man, that's a bit awesome. of a clickety clack and it, it's yep. it's a it's a sexy sound. I don't know what it is, but yep, you like know what I'm talking sad. about. You know I exactly do. what I'm talking I do. about. Sweet, I like it. Very cool. And did you say the MSRP on that one? Uh, Fifty nine ninety nine. Yep. Okay, that's within reach. And again, it's, you're you're talking about like something that's going to be very very sexy to look at and play with and, and use and carry for not a ridiculous amount of money. Cool. Uh, distributor knife at places like Blue So, like an Emerson. this is an Emerson. Yeah, so you can see right there the wave shape feature, mm -hmm. which, you can, which you can hook on your pants to open the knife up. It also has a thumb disc on it. So this is called the CQC 9K. All right. Um, it's got some familiar Emerson styling cues to it. Sure does. It's a nice big knife, 3.4 inch blade, um, G10 scales on this manual action. Um, another interesting feature is that, that that wave actually gets hidden in the handle when the knife is oh, open. That's new. So it looks very much like your typical manual knife, but once you close it, it you reveals that, that wave. wave shaped feature. That is new. Nice, I like that. Was that, um, how did that, that that come about, the the sort of masking of the wave feature? I'll be honest, that's the way, that's the way Ernest drew it. Really? So we, we like that feature um, and it stayed that way. Cool. So, I like it. Reversible pocket clip with the uh, Emerson Skull logo on it. Mm -hmm. Stainless steel frame lock. Um, HCR 14 MOV blade on this one. Okay. Um, nice recurve pattern. And an MSRP of $69.99 on this one. Nice. Once again, a chance to get an Emerson design in hand for less money. Yeah. From Kershaw. It's cool. Yeah. Very nice. So we've covered a lot of the uh, sort of lower end as far as price is concerned. That's correct. Models. Yeah. Uh, then you've got some USA ones we want to look at and also do, some yeah. zero tolerance ones. Let's scoop these out of the way. I'll push them down this way so we can maybe okay. get get them out of folks' hands maybe <laughs> a little bit. It's always a good day when you got a pile of knives. Yeah, I'm always happy when I have a pile of knives. I'll tell you what. There aren't many things that make me happier. Okay, we got a USA made, uh, some USA autos here. Yep. Let's talk about them. Okay. So these are the uh, Launch 4, 5, and 6. Mm -hmm. so launch 4 is actually a California legal auto. Blade is just under two inches long. Nice spear point profile, kind of aggressive, but also in a small package that's non-threatening. Um, so these are much like our launch series from the previous year in construction. Uh, CPM 154 blades on all of these. Um, Two-piece aluminum handles as well. So with that nice backspacer pattern that you get out of that. Um, this one is a single position pocket clip, but I'll be honest, even as a left-handed person, this knife is so symmetrical that it's really easy for me to put this in my pocket, pull it out, roll it over, and deploy the blade. It's really a nice, comfortable profile. Mm -hmm. I could see my wife carrying this too. I like it. Yeah. Sweet. I think I got into the Launch 1 uh, earlier this year, and I love yeah. that knife. It's really cool. I'll probably pick up some of the others as I go, but... Uh, yeah. Let's keep going. So something new for our launch series this year. This is an Emerson design. It's based on his Raven pattern. So it's got that, it's got that kind of wing texture in the handle. It's a nice deep groove. Gives you a little bit of, little bit of grip on that handle. Good snap. Um, modified clip point style. Nice. Again, uh, CPM 154 blade, stone wash finish. Um, integrated backspacer. This would be the lanyard hole right That's here. That's your lanyard huh? loop right there, yep. yep so it in integrated and in part of the pattern in that backspacer. Yep. Reversible pocket clip, all made in the USA. And, um, and no recurve to the blade. We see a lot of recurves yep, in Yep, no recurve to the blade. That's, yeah, that's nice. 150, I believe 160 and 170, so. Okay. Yeah. That's good. We'll, we'll see it. We'll see more information. It'll be close to that, within, within $10. Okay, so. perfect. Very nice. That's so what you get, that's what you get talking to a design guy, folks. <laughs> I can't do math. Oh, that's nice. That is nice. And it's so light. 
That is so light. It's, and it seems large, but it's so light. It's that billet aluminum. That's it really great. really keeps the weight down. That is a sexy, sexy auto. So that's the Launch 5. I'm digging it. Okay. This is the 6, you said? That is the Launch 6. So Launch 6 is a bit more of a dagger profile. Um, more stabby, three, three, like you three, said. 3.75 inch blade. Um, again, we've got a nice machine texture into the handle, something we hadn't done on previously on the Launch series. So it's cool to have a little bit of texture on there, something to grip you. Um, Great snap with these, um, open with authority. Black DLC blade on this, mm -hmm. CPM 154, reversible pocket clip. Um, again, some of that texture on the back. Um, and then, again, the integrated backspacer there. And in this case, the uh, lanyard hole goes straight through the side of the handle, so mm -hmm. we just have that nice backspacer texture going down through there. Uh, yeah, so that is our that is our launch that six. Just a second things. It's almost symmetrical. It's almost a. Um, it's not obviously, but I feel like just looking at it, it's got a very semi-symmetrical feel to it. Once again, very sexy, very light. Uh, I like the launch series a lot so far. Those are cool. I like yeah. them. Very okay. Nice. So shall we move on to the ZTs? Yeah. Maybe let's pull out a couple ZTs real quickly. Okay. Here we go. So, some of you may be familiar with our 0450 model. It's a Dmitry Sienkiewicz design. Um, this is a new model of the 0450 called the 0450 CF. So, as the name might imply, we've, re we've substituted the titanium <coughs> front handle for a full carbon fiber handle. And what, what I wish you all could feel out there is how light this knife is. I'll do it for you. Oh my gosh, that's light. It's very, very light, very comfortable. We think this is going to be a real winner for people who want something, uh, even in slacks. Look at, look at that I'd balance. I'd be happy to carry that all look day that long. Look at that balance. That's so nice. So, same titanium frame lock, stainless steel insert, all with a black DLC finish this time around, so it's got a real clean, real clean dark look to it, real sleek. Um, and the yeah. MSRP is 225 on this one, so still really reasonable for what you're getting. Yeah, I agree. S35, the end blade as well. Very nice. That's the 0450 CF. All right, keep an eye out for it. So now a new design, also by Dmitry Sienkiewicz, our designer from Belarus. This is the 0456. Um, it's going to be a couple bucks more because we're doing a 3D machine titanium handle. Um, blue hardware, so blue pivot, blue backspacer, it's made out of aluminum. Wow. And a blue clip as well. It almost looks plastic. It's like a matte finished aluminum. Yeah, it's a, it's a, or it's a, a finish yeah, it's a real deep, vibrant blue. It's cool. Um, CTS 204P blade with a two-tone finish again. It's got the uh, grinder satin on the on the grinds, and then the uh, it's got stone wash on the flats. Um, KBT ball bearings, so manual action, but nice and smooth. Oh yeah, I like it. Actually, everything we're going to show you here has the KBT ball bearings. We just really like the way it feels. Mm -hmm. And then MSRP of three hundred dollars on this one. Okay, not a surprise, given what it is. Cool. Okay. Next up is the 0095 BW. This is one that we've done as a, as a limited edition a couple of years ago, and we really liked the pattern, so we felt like it, de it deserved a home in the ZT line. Um, all titanium construction, clean, simple, with just a single tube spacer and two big beefy screws. Um, titanium frame lock, again, with the inset steel lock, in, lock puck. Um, two-tone pivot to give it a little bit of class. Yes. Uh, S35VN blade, um, reversible pocket clip, real neat knife, MSRP of 275. Yeah. 3.6 inch blade on this one, so comfortable size, not enormous, but definitely big. Hey, hi. Thank you. Oh. Feels nice, guys. Feels real nice. I like it. So, Next up, we have a new piece from Les George. This is actually something a little different because we this is meant to fall into that same sort of realm as, for those of you who remember our 0200 model. G10 scales, beefy liners, a little more value priced. Uh, but we've gone and we've made those scales a lot thinner this time. So we've got that scooping pattern that Les does on his uh, Talus model. This is actually based on that. Um, we've still got the solid pivot with the, uh, with the uh, pivot 
the nut on it actually. Mm -hmm. So this is a solid steel shaft going through there. Really beefy and tough. Big S35 the end blade. Nice and thick. Flat ground. And this time this is actually running on ball bearings again. So again, super smooth action. Really nice. Yeah, thank you. Oh, it's a big man. horse of a work knife. I can see that. <laughs> horse of a work knife or work of a horse knife or something. Yeah. <laughs> To make short short work of a horse. That that's what it would do. Just try that. Oh my gosh, very nice. That's pretty sweet, man. Yeah. And you said uh, what was the MSRP on that one? MSRP again? on this one is 225. 225. Okay. Yep. Almost there, guys. Almost there. So this is the 0804 CF. I'm sorry, just the 0804. Oh, gotcha. But this has a full carbon fiber front handle. Again, this is the other, another one of those ones where I wish I could just hand this to you through the screen because it's so light. It's a 3.7, oh, 3.9 inch blade, excuse me. Um, big knife, you know, nice solid blade. CTS 204P here again, a little bit of an upgrade. Um, black DLC finish. Um, we've, reversed the, uh, we've reversed the pivot here so we get this cool shield look on the front. Just zoom in a little bit there. Nice. Then again, a titanium frame lock on the back. Uh, milled titanium clip on this one. This is the only one here right now that has a milled titanium clip. Really nice upgrade piece. Um, yeah, real nice knife. MSRP of 350 so a few bucks more, but you're getting something for that. May I? And then KVT ball bearing washers Thank as well. You. It's extremely light for its size, guys. Looks like it's going to feel great in hand for getting hard work done. Love the ball bearing pivots as well, and that carbon fiber. It's carbon fiber on there, right? It is, yep. Yeah, that's super cool. Excellent. And last but not least, we have a new design by a knife maker from Denmark, Jens Anso. Really nice guy, really talented maker. And this is really more indicative of his, his, his where his style is going. Really sleek, really smooth, almost more gentlemanly kind of knife. But it is a big, beefy, strong knife. Um, S35VN, fully stone washed, um, full bead blasted titanium handles, decorative pivot screw, machined aluminum backspacer in this one with a nice popping bright orange color. Again, we have this kind of theme with a lot of these new knives. If you look at this one, also if you look at that 450CF, you've got these cool, these cool lime green ones that I forgot to show you. Blue on the Sinkovich. We're really trying to do some different things with these to make them classy but have a little pop. I think it's a great idea. I love it. Steel, I'm sorry, steel uh, lock bar insert on a titanium frame lock, reversible deep carry pocket clip, KVT ball bearing washers, and one thing we've never done before, we have this nice Thank inlaid you. medallion on the handle, so a little aluminum medallion, really adds a touch of class to this knife. It does. Something a little different. It does. Lots of excellent new stuff from Kershaw and ZT this year, guys. Uh, once again, kind of blown away by all the stuff we've got to look at. Uh, a total of, I think it was 48,000 knives. So right around 50,000. <laughs> Something like that, yeah. So, wow, really impressed with all of them. And uh, thank you, Jim, for uh, taking us through all these knives. Really no appreciate problem. it. It's been fun. We're at the Kershaw booth, SHOT Show 2016. Thanks for watching. See you next year.